Welcome back to Case Closed, anime review episode number 147. This one discussing the newest episode of the anime plus newest chapter of the manga. The newest episode of the anime, uh, 1000, episode 1035, and the 1085th chapter of the manga. I'll be discussing that. Yep, they finally released a new chapter for it. And it's by sheer coincidence they, they released it the same day, they released the same time as the final episode of an arc they just finished. And of course, next week we're, next week episode is going to be an original story arc called Whiteout, which is also the same name of a graphic novel by Greg Rucka. Okay, this one finishes up adapting chapter 1045 and goes through the rest of 1046. Yeah, the first like couple minutes of the episode, that's basically from the last few pages of that chapter. Now, <laughs> most of it, we start off with Aka Aki picking up Conan in his red Volkswagen, which looks, in the anime, the way it's designed, the way its appearance looks, it kind of looks like Professor Gatha's Volkswagen, except that his is yellow and Anki's is red. Okay, so they kind of figure out, you kind of explain some stuff we have the last episode, kind of fill in some details, and of course they have to figure out where the heck Aki's brother is, Dick Jijo, and he's with the culprit. Who the culprit is, it's revealed it's the chubby one of the Shogi players. Yep, that's who pretty much is the person responsible for this whole thing. Mm -hmm. Yes, it is Hinishma. Yeah, he's the one behind it. <laughs> and it's revealed the reason why he did it was because the four vic well the three other victims, aside from the guy committed suicide, were notorious cheaters. Yes. And Uru, who actually committed suicide, was a friend of his. And simply put, he wanted to avenge, death and avenge his death and just basically frame one of them for the other two murders. Yeah, that's simply put the reason for it. And he had the third victim killed just before he killed the second one. Yep. And, of course, they kind of determined this also while playing Blind Shogi. And, of course, he has a knife in his hand. Something you don't see it. But he does have a knife. And, of course, thanks to GPS, they find out exactly where he is. It makes some hawking. Someone gets smashed. And, of course, Aki, along with Conan, saved the day by having, well, knock a clothesline thing out. And then, with Conan's soccer ball, Conan racing down the stairs. I'd say several floors. <coughs> quickly, quickly, the elevator. Then, Aki just shoots out a window just to get his attention. And then he runs out the door and he gets knocked up by Conan. And then everything is explained. And then, of course, this actually is the first time in present day that Aki has been sharing the screen with his younger brother. Because the last time in the anime these two were seen was in the episode Wizard of the Beach. That was the last time officially these two saw each other in the anime. Viewers have known these two are brothers for a long time. It's just that they never seen together in present day. Which begs the question, why the heck are they not seen with their beautiful sister, Sarah? Matt Masami. So, Takagi, uh, Takishi does bring up the fact he, he wants to try and call his mom in order to meet, in order to have her meet his girlfriend, Yumi. But she's not picking up. And suspected Aki does know about what's going on with his mom. It's suspected that she he does know. It's not even confirmed. And Conan looks at him with a suspicious look, and that's where we're left out there. Now, in the case of the last canon case, that led this one. This one doesn't. No, because the very next case has nothing much to do with basically follow this. Let me take a look at here about this one here. Okay, the next official case for this well, is, well, actually, yes, that kind of leads into that four part of which is next. It's probably going to be next canon case. When the heck it's going to be adapted, I have no idea. Seriously, I have no idea. It could be next month. It's possible. Because by the time the end of next month, it would have been two years since this manga, since, since these art chapters were released. So I could see this one adapted for that one. 
it's possible to say at least, but it does leave a little bit per se, but also it leads into Matt Masmi's Sarah's most recent appearance in the manga. But the anime episode itself is actually pretty good. Alright, now moving on to the news chapter of the manga, chapter 1005, The Sufferings of 15. And we have a familiar set of uh, yeah, yeah, Kongoro arguing with a guy about how he get a ticket. It turns out it's like expired. And they're in the Jugo. First time in 10 chapters seeing this guy. Excuse me. And it's Chi Hadawa, who was actually just last seen in that very case. Where she's the younger brother of one of the detectives who actually were killed. Yep, and of course, everybody there all just drooling on the fact that she's hot. <laughs> of course she is. And of course, the person, sorry, you're not meant to be mass willing to the party. Oh, my bad. That's right. She yeah, looked like a suit model. And then we see a participant, Idra Tamori. So, you want to tie the knot? Yes. <laughs> what are you doing here? Oh, the SH Pigway interest is so hilarious. I want the Zerd. And of course, you have people introduced. A guy by the name of Iska Ernstor, who's 26. You have a 38 year old Genji Aki. And they're basically looking for a particular partner. That's And of course, also, they bring up the fact that about the one detective was killed. They have Ito Kazuki, who's there too, and of course, huh, he could also fall in the entrance, because he's drunk. And of course, so the food, and of course, they make an announcement to make out the various numbers, like 15, 19, and then of course you have Chigo adjusting Chigo's tie, just to make him look nice, like, how nice of her to do that, just to fix his tie? Because it's very heavily implied she's got a thing for him. Wait till he she meets her, his twin brother, who is nothing like him aside aside from the fact these two look exactly like he said aside from the fact these two have the same appearance, their personalities are drastically different. Oh by the way, he's thirty eight years old. She looks like presumably late twenties, early thirties. And then of course like they go in, but they don't go out the same door. Uh they do explain the reason why, it just that they don't interrupt the waiting party. So they go out in Jason's room. And we see the guys saw him around like, what the heck is that killing, killing 10 minutes? And like, drop a house key. And of course, they think it's dropped by the door. And then they hear something, she's dead. And then of course, Conan is the first one to rush in. And sees Jugo. And she's, Jugo's like, you're, you're the classes boy. How'd you live here? If you call me that, then who are you? <laughs> Okay, interesting. A masquerade. Mm, a masquerade for the whole about potential marriage. Interesting, to say the least. Uh, what is the title of this one? Marriage Partner Searching Murder Case. Interesting, that's the name of this one. One thing I hope, though, please, for the love of God, do not be in a three-parter, because we've had several of those in a row. Like, I would say last year, which we had one, two, three, four, five. There were six cases last year for, for ARCs. And <clears throat> and for some reason, do not know why, they have to be freaking three-parters. Do not know why. Oh, by the way, her character's brother is Kenshin Hagawa, who was actually, well, a support a character in the side story, he actually has appeared in the anime. One of, I believe he was killed by a bomb. Yeah, I like the fact that... That the writer himself brought her back. Because... Great idea. Not a bad idea to bring her back because... She's a good character. I like this character. I mean, she's beautiful. Parents-wise, reminds me a lot of... Vermouth and a little bit of Conan's mom because while well, women don't look very similar, but she's a very beautiful woman, and there's potential. To, oh, she's 31. I I was kind of right. She's 31 years old. Interesting to say the least. Mm -hmm. Yeah, apparently her debut basically, like she's 31. Like okay, interesting to say the least. Oh yeah, and her boss just happens to be 38. Oh, 35. Oh, I thought it was 38. My mistake. So he's like four years older than she is. Okay. 
Yeah, but his brother is nothing like him at all. Oh, no. His twin brother, Shogo, he's also 35 as well. He's more of a happy-go-lucky guy, while the other one's, like, more serious. Yeah, it's not unusual where the younger one of the bro of a brother duo, where he's more serious than the older one. Yeah. But I give the chapter a 10 out of 10, because it's a damn good chapter. And I can't wait for me the very next chapter. But who knows? Maybe he'll introduce her to his brother. Same age, but he's in a different province. Yep. So yeah, that's it for Sick Love You. I have roughly one more Andrew review today, and I do that's Barto, okay? Next video. Bye.